Bon Appetit, Night Nation. It's lunch in the lair. It's December 14th. We got a second episode of season two. We got a lot to talk about on this show. Boy soups, girl soups, wrestling, band concerts, and an interview. A lot to talk about. Inside the lair, coming right at you. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're back. We're back. Here we are. Let's talk boy soups and get the show started here, Blair. All right. We're hungry for some boy soups. Let's get after it. All and the right. uh, boy soups team keeps continuing to, to show progress. Yes, they do. Last week, they were 0-2 to come in the last, last week. They took on the Giants from the Sewer Henderson, and they battled the, the Bombers last night with Cannon Falls. Ended up dropping both of those games, but they were tight contests. The Sewer Henderson beat us 76-65. to and in that game, Jack Belke really did a nice job of leading the way. He has improved his post play tremendously, finishing around the basket with much, much higher efficiency. Nutsy Rusin also put in 24 points. Jack, like I said, had 18 points, and Chance Washburn is starting to feel it too. Chance Washburn ended up having 11 points in that game. And uh, like I said last night, the Bombers came to town. Another tight game. We ended up losing by 9, 50-59. And Jack Belke again, 18 points. Nutsy Rusin had thir Nutsy Rusin had 13, and Chance Washburn also had 13 points. But the the cool thing is, like you said, they are showing progress. Just a couple of little things. Bunnies around the hoop, we keep missing them. Too high of a rate. We get beat on some backdoor cuts last night. That really we were trying to claw our way back, and uh, we gave up some easy layups, and then on some rebounding issues that we're having too. We're undersized. And our lack of depth is, is showing, especially when guys have followed out the last couple games. Yeah, you know, this is, a, this is a team that Coach Peterson has done a nice job with this core. This maybe top six to eight players that he has. Um, if they stay in the game and don't get in foul trouble and we stay healthy, had an injury last night, right. Calvin Steberg uh, hurt the ankle. Um, if everything can go their way and they can be on the floor, that, that core of six to eight guys, um, they're going to be all right, and yeah. I and I think I think you know only losing to nine to Cannon Falls, um, it shows that this team has made a lot of progress in three weeks, yes. and and that was a big game for Coach Peterson because Cannon Falls yeah. is is where he teaches, um, so you know they were up for the game, and I, I think that this team is maybe not going to win games early on, but I think they're going to be that kind of team where if everything gels right, no one's going to want to play them come January February. Well, the the, uh, the cool thing is they're taking great shots. Just haven't put them in the hoop, and they got down 20 a couple times in both games, and they clawed their way back to get it to five points. And then we had a couple defensive breakdowns, but let's move on. They are taking on Hayfield on Friday at the Castle. There's no wrestling that night. There's no girls hoops that night. Boys hoops only on Friday night at home. Hopefully the snow does not impact that game. No, uh, very winnable game. Yeah, and Chris Pack, Coach Pack for the Hayfield Vikings, always does a great job of coaching them up. So it's going to be a battle, but I think it's one that we can get. Hayfield's one and three, and I, I, th I think this is a game they can win. Uh, over the summer, we played Hayfield a lot, and, and, and we really took it to them. So if things are different in the season, but right, right. I think we can. I think we can do a good job. And, and then the next game Tuesday before the break uh, at ZM, yeah. and that is a game last year at ZM right. we lost a really close one. Came came within overtime. millimeters of winning, overtime. and then Nutsy hit one in overtime about from seventy feet. So. Uh, I, I think you're going to get a victory before our next show. I hope so. Let's move on to girls right. hoops, okay? Girls hoops. They went to Cannon Falls last night, and remember, it was the revenge games. The revenge and game got from, it. from last playoff, and they ended up uh, pretty much winning easily, 69 to 30. Mar Kwam, she chipped in uh, 20 points, having another great start to their senior season. Morgan Burrow, a senior, put in a career high nine points for the for the center that comes off the bench, does a nice job for us. And the, the key was, I talked to Coach Lurkin earlier, 22 turnovers we forced, we only had five. 
So right. taking care of the ball was leading to some success for us. You know, a cool thing about the girls basketball, you know, have you heard about this, Blair? No. This weekend, if you are a oh, basketball yeah, junkie, awesome. if you're a basketball junkie, down at the Mayo Civic Center in Rochester, it's the HVL Three River Conference Showdown. And uh, our girls will play at 1230 in the afternoon in the auditorium against the Ramblers from Winona Cotter. How cool is that? 14 that's games. Gonna be, that's going to be boys and girls. And you know what? I get to be the PA for four of them, including KW versus Winona Cotter. Oh my gosh, I might have to drive down and see that. Hey, this girl's basketball victory against Cannon Falls yeah. was delicious, just like this Brussels sprout. I mean, <laughs> this, this team is, is, is not flashy like Brussels sprouts, but it, it provides everything you need. Right. This is a good team, and yeah. uh, they're, they're going to do well. And, and the next week, they, they have the, finally have their first home game hosting ZM on Tuesday night. Finally, the home opener. So Can't wait it should for be it. good for them. Let's move on to wrestling. We went over to Goodview last Friday, took on the what uh, the guillotine, the guillotine.com. They have their annual rankings. They weren't in the top 10, Goodview, but they were in with the next section they call the lean and mean, the, the up and coming right. teams. And they have the O'Reilly brothers that are really good. Bad news for Goodview, we're better than them. 44 17 Knights take down the Wildcats. Bunch of pins by our guys, and some great news. Some of our younger kids keep getting that progress. Yep, like we exactly. said last time, eight of the 13 wrestlers, sophomores or lower. Yep. Uh, tomorrow night, they're going to head to Pine Island uh, for triangular against Pine Island and ZM. That should be a good matchup against ZM. It always is. It's always a personal matchup for Coach Ryan. Um, and then Saturday, i got a home tournament. Uh, lots of great teams from across the state coming here. So uh, if you are a wrestling fan and want to support the Knights, come out to the school here going to be a great atmosphere lots of great teams from all the classes i like how they do that they yeah. don't they don't just make it class 1a it's or teams a lot around of here. right or team you know team from the cities teams from north um it's gonna be good hope weather doesn't impact that either right right and one other cool thing the zm showdown at this pine island triangular zm ranked fifth we're ranked number one let's see uh bring let's it. who's gonna strap up the the headgear bring it and then don't forget the 22nd thursday the 22nd Right, here right, right. at the castle, we're going to raise the banner for the state championship team from last season. Uh, special night. I know you, as part of the basketball team that won it back in the day, that's got to be just a special evening. It's, you know, the smoke is cleared from, the, from winning it. You get to kind of come back, have a reunion, and you raise that banner, and it's a special feeling. Well, it's, it's really cool because they put it at a good time. Christmas break for the kids that were – uh, seniors and graduated yep. so they can come back yep. and it's going to be a celebration where we just live relive memories yep, absolutely. and uh, if you want to check it out last year we put together a, a highlight film of the state tournament for the Knights you can check that out on our YouTube page on I think it's under inside the lair yep. is our YouTube page but a uh, cool thing about the boys I was in the locker room after their practice and they're getting geared up for ZM and I asked some of the kids I said big one tomorrow or on Thursday night and they said we're going cougar hunting Cougar hunt, you gotta go cougar hunt. Cougar hunt. Yep, absolutely. Can't wait to see them uh, take on ZM and then also uh, their tournament and uh, the banner raising coming up. Um, lots of things going on here at KW, but on Monday night we had a really special evening, uh, the band and choir concerts. And right. I'll tell you what, um, I was sick from school that day. I still got to listen to it. It was online. That's so cool. It was so awesome. so awesome. I felt really bad I couldn't be there. And uh, I was able to watch it online. Uh, I'll tell you what, bravo. They were yeah. doing a great job by our, by our choir and our band. They've really got some talented musicians and talented singers. It's unbelievable the amount of work that some of these kids put in. And it's not like you just take your horn, practice at uh, inside 45 minutes of class time. They, no, they are it's diligent yep. about it's making homework. sure they are prepared. And that's just a kudos to Claire Larson and Stephanie Schumacher, yep. too. So great job to them. I think that's all we got tonight. Yeah, I mean... we. We got a lot going on. Do nutritious, delicious lunches here. What what's not to love? We got today chili mm. bread bowl. Chili bread I'm bowl. I'm gonna do my my TV uh, sampling face. Watch this. Mm. <laughs> mm, that's good. <laughs> oh. So much to love about KW. From the lunches to the kids to the teachers to the administrators to the basketball teams to the wrestling teams, we got it all here. Happy holidays to everybody. We're gonna have our holiday spectacular next week. Uh, until then. Bon appetit! Bon appetit! From the lair with Blair. And Kirby. <laughs> See you later. Yeah.